We'll stop the video when I miss. This could be the longest GR Pro Shot video of all time. This is supposed to be a challenge pattern. Nothing challenging about this tonight. <laughs> so good. Brando's back again, this time with the Ebonite Game Breaker 5. Super excited for this ball. I love the Game Breaker 2, the Game Breaker 4, and I hope that this one is just as good, if not better. Let's see what happens in the lanes here. All right, before we throw the Game Breaker 5, let's set a baseline. And let's go with the classic Game Breaker 4. Love this ball, did a dual review with Barker about two years ago, and this ball's been in my bag quite a long time. You can see by the phasing, it's been through a lot. Not bad, that was close. We're bowling on a 46 foot challenge pattern. There's been about a game of wear prior to me bowling on, so it's not super fresh, but the lanes aren't too beat up. This should be a really good test for these balls. We can really see what the differences are here. So that ball looked pretty close. Let me just tighten my angles up a bit and I'm gonna strike. I'm gonna tighten my eyes up a little bit here and not get the ball so far right. And that's left. Got away with it, longer oil patterns. Typically you wanna stay a little closer to the head pin. As the oil is dressed further towards the pins, it doesn't give a lot of time for that ball to hook. As a result, tight angles. A little right. Close. All right, we've established the baseline. I've struck twice, missing a little bit left of my target, getting the ball a little bit too far to the right. Did not result in strikes. I think this ball might roll a little bit too early and it's not quite the right piece. Let's see if the Game Breaker 5 is the one. Same alignment here. Let's see if I can throw a good shot. A little right. That was interesting. Bit of a different read. I find the Game Breaker 4 grabbed the lane a little bit earlier. Out of the box, it comes a little more rough and that causes the ball to create traction on the lane sooner. This ball's getting further down the lane. Good shot. Oh, I want a replay of those pins. The eight and nine, that was so sick. <laughs> the balls are close. I really don't feel like I need to have both these balls in my bag at the same time. I find that the Game Breaker 5 goes a little further down the lane by not being so dull, but the actual cover material is a little bit stronger. Soft and right. Still flush. Where was this in league? <laughs> so good. I'm terrible in league, but I can strike on camera. I guess I'm just a shower. This is a family channel. That was unbelievable. I hit my target, but I got my hand a little bit too around the ball. I thought I was gonna hook extra, but it held the line and it was still nice and smooth. That's what I really like about this Game Breaker 5. It's just very smooth. I just feel like I've got control over what it's gonna do and it's not violent in motion at all. I've got tons of control at this point. We're filming till I miss. Left the target. Doesn't matter. This ball looks perfect right now. Comments below. Why do you struggle in league, but when it's practice, open play, you're blown by yourself, you can just strike at will? I need to know, like, what's wrong in here? Right a target. Doesn't matter either. No strike as well. This is gonna be the longest video ever. All right, so I've thrown five or six strikes from the same alignment. And you know, as you bowl a little bit, the oil in the lanes gets absorbed by the bowling ball. It's like a sponge. So it's time for you to move my feet and my target just a little bit to the left, just to make sure that this one doesn't overhook. One board each. Good move. If I stayed there, I don't know if that ball would have held line and still struck. That probably would have overhooked. And for me, it's important to always be ahead of things. I don't want my ball to overhook out of the blue. I want to be prepared for those and sometimes I move my feet a little bit extra just in case. That's just being safe. Jumu, you're killing my mojo. I don't know why you want me to change on like an eight bagger, but I'm changing back to GB4, same alignment. Let's see what happens here. Your fault, but that ball rolled a little bit earlier, it saw the lane sooner, and it hooked too much. I'm gonna move my feet one more board to the left. I'm scared that I'm gonna have over hook again just like on that last shot. So let's just get ahead of it one more board to the left of my feet. Oh, 
nice shot. I'm gonna still call that an eight or a nine bagger. Eyes one left here, keep it tight. This is so good. Like, this is so good. We got new scoring here at Splitsville, and it says I'm nine for nine with the GB5. This is sick. One more board left with my feet and target. Let's keep this strike train going. Not bad. Keep filming. Spun that. Doesn't matter, they all strike. This ball's so good, go buy one, seriously, go buy one. One board left here. Oh, that was bad. 12 in a row. I don't know if this counts as a 300 because of that one shot of the GV4. But let's just keep going. We're striking, 12 bagger. Let's just get through the shot a little better. Good ball. That's probably the least convincing strike I've thrown yet. Very impressed. Thank you. Gonna move my feet, one more board left. Soften up a little bit, make sure that this ball has enough angle in the pins. A little left to target. They still strike. Let me grab my chamois, the ball's getting greasy. We'll stop the video when I miss. This could be the longest GR Pro Shot video of all time. Oh, I stuck. That doesn't matter. That was the worst approach I've had. <laughs> this is supposed to be a challenge pattern. Nothing challenging about this tonight. Right ball, right angle, this is perfect. Get to the line a little better than that. Ah, oh, I guess some of us have to go to work. I got an ADM. Well, 16 strikes in a row. I guess that's enough to prove this ball's pretty decent, at least on this pattern. And I love the way it rolls. Super consistent, super smooth. Just really, really easy to control and manipulate and seem to read the lane in the right spot for me. I recommend this ball for medium to heavy oil. And yeah, this is a keeper. A tournament bag right away. I haven't said that about a ball in a really long time. Super impressed. GB2, one shot. I intended to throw this a bunch, but we struck a lot of the GB5 and didn't really need to prove that point. Let's see what happens from the same alignment. This has been a benchmark ball in my bag and it's got tons of games. Let's see where it's standing. This ball should go a little further down the lane and be a little sharper into the pins. Hey, that ain't bad too. Strike count with the GB2. GB5 recap time. Let's make this simple. It struck a lot. This ball just looked pretty much perfect on this 46 foot challenge pattern and it was not challenging at all with the right ball in my hands. I had a little bit of forgiveness right in my target, a little bit of forgiveness left in my target and that's really the dream. Ball went through the pins wonderfully and I had lots of control. This ball's not nearly as angular on the lane as some of the other pieces I have, but it's definitely not my most early rolling and forward type bowling ball like a urethane or even that red Game Breaker 4. Compared to the Game Breaker 4, the Game Breaker 5 got a little further down the lane and I found it's a little bit more consistent. The Game Breaker 4 read earlier and was a little bit more sensitive to the oily and dry boards on the lane. Harder to control, but Probably an advantage on really easy type lights. I would find the ball like this would be a little bit more effective in a tournament type situation. And in my opinion, be a little bit more versatile if you're bowling on different type of oil patterns. As far as who this ball is gonna be well suited for, anybody with medium to firmer ball speed. The bowling balls that come a little bit duller out of the box typically read the lane a little bit sooner. If you don't throw the ball very fast, this might not be the right ball for you. Same as if you bowl on dryer lanes or wood lanes or lanes where you typically see your ball curve too early, this is probably not the ball you're looking for. You're looking for a medium to strong bowling ball to take to league or round out your tournament bag. Perfect, seriously, take a really good look at this. I've only thrown about 20 shots with it so far and I've been thoroughly convinced. All right, so we managed to get up to 16 in a row. That's my personal best on camera and maybe our best on JR Pro Shop. Somebody comment below if you've seen more. And if not, they probably had some editing. Yes, the GB5 looked awesome. Let us know in the comments below, what's your longest string of strikes? How many is the most strikes you've put together consecutively at one time? 
my record's 21. Thank you for watching. If you like this bowling ball or this new jersey that I have, three years and finally a JR Pro Shop jersey for me, Barks, Jung, Jimu. Go find your own at shop.boofabowling.com. Promo code JUNGLEBARKS, 10% off. Thanks for watching, see you soon. And that's left. A little right. Oh, I stuck.